What's up, you guys? This is John from RestlessRiches.com, your go-to website for real estate information. And today's video is about paying your mortgage off early. Mortgages are the most common way that people buy their homes today. You put down a down payment, usually 20%, and then you're paying monthly payments, usually for 30 years, also 15-year mortgage, of a principal payment, which goes back towards the house to your own equity, and the interest payment, which goes to the bank for them to make money. Obviously, this is the part we wanna get rid of, which is why we'd wanna pay our mortgage off early. So let's talk about the ways that we can do that. The first method towards paying your mortgage off early would be to do bi-monthly payments. This would mean paying two payments a month instead of the normal one. This obviously will help you make your mortgage payments twice as fast so that you can get out of your mortgage faster. So first, be sure that you can budget for this. And if you can, talk to your bank and see if you can set it up so that you can automatically pay your mortgage twice as fast as normal. The second method is to have a larger principal payment or down payment. So generally, it's recommended to put 20% down so that you don't have to pay private mortgage insurance. We can talk about that in another video. But if you put even more than that down, then your payments are going to be less and of course even better less interest so let's say instead of putting that 20 percent down you put down 50 percent for example uh you're going to be paying a lot less each month and this is one way if you can afford it to put a bigger down payment and lower your monthly payments for that duration of the mortgage method number three is to make extra principal payments so if you can't do like uh, method number one where you're doubling your payment, some months you have extra money, some months you don't, take that extra money instead of going out and buying avocado toast or whatever you're going to go get, put it into paying down the principal. So you can put extra towards the principal each month. So obviously if you're not making a regular or bigger amount, it's not going to make that huge dent that we want, but every little bit counts and it's better to put it back into your real estate, building your equity, than just uh, you know going to Starbucks or whatever you do to waste your money away. Method number four would be seeking a shorter term loan. So in the United States, our two most common types of loans are a 30 year fixed rate mortgage and a 15 year fixed rate mortgage. So you might think 15 is half the time of a 30 year mortgage, so my payments are gonna be double. That's wrong. They will be more, but not double more. And also, two great things are, your interest rate is gonna be lower for a 15 uh, year. Generally, it's about half a percentage lower. And because you're paying it off faster, you're gonna pay off less interest in the long run as well. So first, run the numbers, make sure that you can afford the extra payment of a 15 year. And not just like you can barely afford, you still wanna have a cushion because you always have to be able to cover emergencies. But if you can cover that extra amount comfortably, then a 15 year mortgage, just think, you're paying it off 15 years earlier. So after 15 years, you just have to pay real estate taxes and the property is yours. So anything that you make on that property is just all profit. So definitely look into a 15 year mortgage, shorter term, there are even shorter term loans than this, uh, if you can afford it, that are worth looking into. Something else that takes a short amount of time, giving this video a like, would appreciate it very much. Method number five is really just more of a precautionary thing, and that's buying a home that you can afford. If you're really stretching your budget to cover the monthly payments, then it's not gonna work. You're not gonna be able to pay extra towards your mortgage. You're not gonna be able to make extra installments. So making sure that the house you buy is something that you can comfortably afford gives you these options that we talked about. Uh, so it's a little bit of a, an ounce of prevention is a pound of cure type of thing. So make sure that you're in a position that you can make the payments with some extra left over. Also, like I mentioned earlier, in case of an emergency, because they do happen, um, or in case you want to invest that money elsewhere for a better return, make sure it's something you can afford very comfortably and then you can use that extra money to pay down your principal or if anything else arises. It's just flexibility and options is what you need. 
So I hope you can take these considerations into mind on how to pay off your mortgage early. And remember, mortgage is like a miracle of the world. And what other situation could you go in there? I mean, I can't go to the store and say, hey, I'll give you 20% of this money now and I'll pay you the rest over 30 years or even three and a half percent if you get an FHA loan. That's, that's a whole other video. But I mean, what else can you do that? And over that 30 years, what I bought is gonna gain in value. And the money that I have to pay over those 30 years, it, it, inflation causes it, a dollar now is worth like 50 cents in the future. So it's just a win-win, especially with how low rates are right now. Um, if you have the money, go get a mortgage and invest because don't wait to buy real estate, just buy real estate and wait. Everyone that's held on to real estate and bought it as early as they could and held on to it for a long time, uh, they're just doing very well in life. And any person that's gotten rich from any company or you know contract, whatever, however they make quick money, the best way to keep money, and I, I always say the best difference between rich and wealthy, rich they make their money, but it can go anytime, wealthy, put it into real estate, and that makes them more money passively. I mean, just appreciation alone, that's free money just for buying something. Again, you're not even paying the full price because with a mortgage, instead of buying a house and paying for it 100% cash, you could take that 100%, divide it into five, 20%, and buy five houses or five apartment buildings. I would recommend that over houses anyway, and make way more money, five times the money. So mortgages are beautiful. Hope you enjoyed this video on how to pay them off early if you choose to do so. We put a lot of work into this video. Please subscribe, ring that notification bell, give it a like, comment down below. What do you think? Is it important to pay down mortgages earlier or do you think you should let it go? What's better, 30-year mortgage, 15-year mortgage? I mean, people are all on opposite eyes of uh, argument on that one. Uh, but anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. See you on the next one. Take care, everyone.